Hello there, the Fabled Arpuna here, ready to hunt a Baroth in the Avenge the Fallen Hunt quest with the Lance Weapon class and uh, an alternative option to the Bellonocles as an upgrade to the Spiral Splash. Gonna be using the Seadia's armor set, boosted with uh, a guard plus one at least. I've considering that when using lances and probably gain lances, I'll try to get at least this first level of guard, especially with higher type tier monsters, otherwise most of the blocks they will be successful but still damaging and with pushback. Now yeah, the weapon of choice I'm gonna forge it since I like the previous version of the weapon is this idea's horn. While you can upgrade it from the spiral splash, I used that upgrade to create the Belanocus, so I no longer have it. Here will cost me a couple of crooked horns. Relatively hard to get, because you can only get them from the horn break. You can carve twice and with a decent percentage chance. But if you don't slay it in one go, the next hunt you there's no chance of getting any horns because it's already broken. So for this particular material it can be a bit tedious to farm for the monster. But still not too bad. So, let's see, should I compare? Not really. I can compare it to other weapons. Compared to the Bolt Zenger, for example, it's the same raw damage with a better elemental in water damage. So a bit more elemental damage, plus it changes to water. So it's pretty much a, an alternative option to the Bolt Zenger. So you use water instead of fire. Compared to the Tusk Lance, it's a bit stronger in raw damage and a better elemental option. Now, since we're dealing with the Barath, let's make the weapon. You have three elements you can use against it. The standard option will be ice. Its damage is constant no matter if the barrel is armoured or not, although it's not the most damaging one of all of the set. But considering, let's see the foods, actually, while we're here. Actually, could use Explorer, and Ultra Lucky Cat will be nice. We'll have no use for Specialist, but I don't really mind. What was it? Combiner, Supplier. Let's go for Explorer, if I can. So yes, ice will be a good all-around option. My next suggestion will be water over fire, mostly because since the Barath starts with a mud on its uh, body, you will start off dealing more damage than if you go with fire. The problem with water and fire is that, let's see, Avenge the Fallen Hunter, let's actually go into the quest. Do I have proper items actually? I didn't replenish anything. Let's get this sorted out. And I want to cancel. We've got to actually change up all the items. So while we come at it, let's see. Don't need. Don't need, don't need any of the gunner items. Yeah, critical head horns. I've been farming the serious for a bit. Basically, hunting for horns. Dash juice. Don't really want to be using dash juice with the lance. Probably don't need it. If I don't have dash juice, I probably do want to have bring some energy drinks instead. Some stamina recovery of any sorts. Don't think I need a forecaster here. Psycho Siren. Probably don't need it either. We'll know where <coughs> Ooh, voice going a bit. We'll know where it starts. Well I probably do need I can't remember. Is it daytime or nighttime? Let's take uh I'm gonna hope for daytime. If it's night time I'm not gonna be too concerned. Anyway, let's get the quest going. Really wasted enough time. And off we go. And if I got something, well, I'll regret it. Avengers of Fallen <coughs> the Fallen Hunter. So yes, yeah, so after all this I've decided to Still do the monster stuff done in low rank. 
What we'll be skipping is the dual or multiple monster hunts where I've already hunted the monster in the same rank level. Unfortunately, since I've gemmed out the speed gatherer in exchange for the guard, this is going to be, be a bit slower. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, this secret area. I think those materials will all um, account items. Let's see. Royal Run on this account. King Scarab. It's nice. Account and account. It's good for extras, any. Speaking of which, as you can see, I'm using Chet and Camber's. What is it called? Spaceman mask or something like that? Space mask? Something like that. They're good for simply uh, basically generating money in the form of coins or special little gems. The only way you can make those masks is with the special uh, event quest with the four tiny pecos. Oh, can I? I always like to try to do this. See, I can, I can hit it with a paintball. Okay, I don't really need to counter since I, uh, I have the uh, hearing protection. They like to do so, especially for good practice. Okay, if something I forgot, as I just noticed, is that I don't have any cleansers with me, which could be bad if I my ball hits me. As uh, for example, any hits? No, no. <laughs> so roll through the tail swipe. Anyway, elemental damage options. Right now, the, we, uh, the best elemental, while it has the mud on, will be water, which is what I have. Some powerful raw damage lance with extra elemental damage, boosted by the arm set with water plus one. And this is where the hearing protection came in handy. As it bounced, I couldn't really counter properly. So it's not too bad to have. Now I do have another skill, Park Breaker. Uh, is it Park Breaker? I can't remember. Ah yes, it makes it easier to break off paths. It was lucky there, it was a risky gathering. Okay, some mud off. And counter this. It's nice to counter the charge since you're guaranteed to hit some part of the body behind it. Quite good for trying to reach the tail. Although sometimes you will hit the legs more often than not. The next element I would use would be ice. Although it would depend on the amount of elemental damage the weapon has. Large elemental weapons would be good. But if they are small, you probably just want to ignore it and just go for the raw damage. I hate when it just decides to take its time to attack. Okay, so we've pretty much got rid of most of the mud, well, at least head and body. I'm going to try to go for the arms and legs. The tail doesn't really concern me since I can cut it. Okay, is it going to charge in the curve? Yeah. So far, it's not doing any new attacks compared to low rank, I can tell. It seems already exhausted. And there's the leg break, which is nice to get it when it's exhausted, since uh, it trips it. Is it bad to get the leg flinched when it's enraged since it won't trip? It will just stagger to a side. I want to go for the leg trip. Well, not a good counter. Thought it was going to hit me. But it didn't. Uh, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Bit greedy with the shinies I am. And since the damage is not that bad, I'm not really concerned. Finally, the last element I would use if I have to go elemental and I don't have better options would be fire. Probably is until the mud breaks off, you would be doing zero elemental damage. Now, of all the options I had, I do believe that the this lance. Which, by the way, which is the name? I didn't mention it. The Sirius. Ah, I did mention the Sirius one. It seems to be the better option all around. 
better raw damage than most other Lances. Decent level of sharpness. And a nice uh, damage, elemental damage on it. Now this is the other reason why water would be the best option now, in my opinion. Is that the fact that it can re... or rebathe itself into mud. Well, in mud. So, it keeps itself water... Weak to water, essentially. If you were fighting it in a situation where it cannot uh, replace its mud, then maybe fire would be a better choice. The reason that you will bring <coughs> voice keeps on voice keeps on going. I'm going away, I mean. The reason uh, you would want to go with ice is just to so you don't have to concern yourself of what level of armor does it have if it's in mud or not. Because the amount of ice damage you would do is consistent. Irrelevant of armor or not. On average, if the time spent by the barrel with armor and without it is the same, like 50 50, ice could actually do more damage than either of the other two elements. For example, uh, and by the way, there's a demonstration of why getting the leg flinch doesn't trip here because it's enraged. And my sharpness is gone, and I didn't really realize. I don't really, can't really be sharpened now, it's a bit too late. Although I don't really need to often so far. Don't bounce on any other part than the head. Hey, it took its time to attack me, so the counter failed completely. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, probably because it stopped being enraged. So yes, leg trips will work with either exhaustion or regular state of the monster. Ah, I thought I could do a two hit, then a counter. So what was I talking about now? Ice uh, elemental damage? Yes, if it's the time spent is 50-50, then yes, because uh, for example, water damage, while it's the most ele damaging elemental you can use when in mud, covered, about 50% or more, well, no, at most, when it, the armor is removed, the elemental damage from water is reduced to zero, for the most part. Well, for example, eyes, I believe, is a like constant 30. I'm not sure if this is the head area I'm talking about, but it's a good as an example. Incredible. And he has mad on the head and he still managed to hit me with it. Now, some of these shinies are cat shinies, so I'm not going to bother with them. Don't have speed gather up, it's a bad idea. Shame about that counter, I did manage to connect but failed the two next hits. And I do need to sharpen now. I should have sharpened before moving from the previous area. But right now is not a good idea while it's in rage. And since I'm not really bouncing from other than the head, as I will say, that will still bounce anyway from green sharpness. Okay, it's moving away. Yeah, okay, let's sharpen here. It's going backwards. That's area two? No, that's area one. First aid, okay. Should I get any energy drink? Do I need it? Well, I'm lacking one stamina bar. But I don't think I need it right now. Let's wait for a bit. That's going to hit me, yeah. Ooh, ah, I want to back up. I want to do back up. Maybe I should have uh, countered there. I could have blocked it. Okay, let's wait for it. It's not going to attack immediately. What's he going to do now? And the block failed completely. But it failed because it didn't connect really. 
I need to be wary with these Rhinoplos around. They're gonna be pests. He keeps choosing to charge when I can't do it. It's a typical Baron. I can't count on me. You become either bouncing or if he used the second attack. Need to, need to read. Head on. Or head on or read ahead, I think, its movement. Now, the lance could actually knock off its uh, headpiece, but you need to shield bash it a lot. Which is uh, tedious to do. Could try it. But it requires some accuracy when using this attack. And now we're not in a good place to do it. And the damage from poking it with the lances won't help to actually break off the ridge. Oh, I was trying to turn around and get the hit, uh, the block in, but didn't work. Got hit and knocked off into knocked into, ne into the next area. Okay, can I? That's uh, to the face. Okay. Oh, I didn't have stamina, that's why. Guess that's why I should have some energy drink, just in case that happens. Now, what, no, I guess he decided not to. Can I get another head bash? No, it's too high. That's the other problem with uh, trying to bash in it with the shield, is that the head tends to be too high. Okay, amazing how that tail swipe didn't manage to connect. Gives him because I'm too low now. Okay, nice. Got a nice glitch there, and it's already limping. Didn't paint baller, but we can trap the dust clouds that it generates. It's going this way, okay. Let's paint the bubble it this time before it moves away, although we know he's going to the swampy area. Ah, can't do side hop uh, far away from the tail swipe, but wasn't far enough. Good counter there. Another one there. Now right now well, the water damage is doing zero because there's no absolutely no map on it. Ow. But I think we have done a nice amount of damage. Okay, I should have held on after the second stab and go for a counter. Tend to be too greedy with the three hits. Well no, I don't need to concern myself with the wall. And it's moving away, moving away once again. Should I sharpen one more time just in case? Yeah, why not? Get an energy drink as well, I have plenty of those. And let's end this quest. Wanna see sleep quite rapidly, but the lance doesn't have any particular attack that's powerful enough to use to do a nice amount of extra damage while it's sleeping. Again, I'm countering the roars even though I have hearing, mostly for practice. It's a good idea to try and block these roars and counter them. Just for those moments that you don't have earplugs of any kind with you. And there's the kill. First time. 35 minutes remaining, 9 seconds. So we did it. Shortly before the 15 minute mark, actually. It's a nice quick hunt. Got 
few cars. Crowd carapace. I'm gonna try to head up to four. Is it four? It's up, it's up there. Maybe we can mine some rocks. I think this is a, one of the few first times I've been. Ooh, that's a large penumbra. Could bring poison actually to get some Bonabra pirate Bonabra parts as well. Might think of that. Poison bombs. Just for after the quest and carving them. But for now I'm gonna mine some rocks. And I could gather some bugs as well, see what the kind of bugs we have around here. It's mostly zenny, there's a count of items, iron ore that we really need. Coal light, I guess extra coal light right now is not that bad. And only two rock pieces. Well, it's what you get when you don't have a speed gatherer. Let's see the main rewards. Well, we've got Barrel Claw from the break. Master Bone Pluses. Bone Husk S. Do I really want to get when I have not over 900 of them? No, I think I've seen them. Ridge Plus, two. Oh, I've already got two in the, from the cars, that's nice. A Barrel of Claw Plus. I'm guessing I didn't get a high rank claw from the break. Ridge Plus. No, Ridge. And Felt or Mud. Fertile, Mud. Which I've plenty of right now as well. In the talisman, that's defense lock plus three. I think I have a better one or an equal one. So, and, ooh, that's a lot of sending there. We pass through it. A lot of different items, account items. So, there's a Pinto for a uh, favorite Arpuna, and then a Barrow in the Avenged the Fallen Hunter quest with the Lance Weapon class and the Sidious Horn as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.